Welcome to this preview of the new tileset editor that is coming in Godot 3.1. We are pre-alpha right now. The final editor should work kind of the same, but this is a preview. So note that you have to build Godot from source to test this. I'll create a new 2D node and we're going to create a tileset. Now you don't have to create uh, sprite nodes and all like before. It's not as cumbersome. We're going to create a tile map and we have a tileset slot where we can create our tileset. So you can click on that and create a new tileset resource. Note that resources like these, you can create them using the create resource button at the top left of the inspector. So you can search for the tileset and you can find it there. I would recommend that you use the add resource button from here. You can create your tileset and load it in the inspector. And from there, you can save your resource. So you click on the tools button on the right of the inspector, the object properties and save as, then you can save your tile set here. We're going to call it outdoor.tres. Save it. And you can see the new tile set editor that just opened. You can expand the bottom panel now with shift F12 or by clicking the double arrow at the bottom of the bottom panel. You can see in the editor, we have three buttons to create single tiles, auto tiles and atlases. But before we can do that, we need to load a texture. So you do that in the bottom left corner of the editor, add textures to tile set. We're going to add our texture file. It gets loaded in the region editor. And from there, we can create new tiles. So a single tile is a single tile, as you'd expect. We can click and drag to define the area the tile will use. By default, it's using the pixel grid. You want to activate the snapping option and can configure it in the inspector now. So you have a snap options category to define the step. 32 pixels by default. We're going to make it 120 for this tile set, but for you, it will depend on the tile set that you use. And then when you click and drag, the region will snap to the grid. Note that the name of the tile appears clearly on the editor, so that is quite convenient. We're going to create an auto tile next. So a single tile is the tile that you will draw on the tile map, the single portion of the image. The auto tile is a lot more advanced than that. When you create an auto tile, you want to drag over multiple cells. You're going to define a bit mask. And when you draw your tile in your game, Godot will automatically place corners and inner corners or variations of the dirt, for example. For that, we use the bit mask tab that appeared at the top. So for each tile, you can define the region for the currently selected tile, but then you want to define the collisions. For example, if you create walls, so this you have to do per cell, then you can define the occlusion to occlude light, navigation for the 2D nav mesh or navigation node, but now we'll be interested in the bit mask. Oh, before I forget, in the inspector, you can modify the properties of the selected tiles under the selected tile category. I'll expand the inspector a little bit so you can change its name you can call this one dirt you'll see the name update in the editor you can offset the texture apply a normal map etc uh, some shader for it but for the auto tile we are most interested in the bit mask and the subtile size this one will use a two by two bit mask so as we draw the bit mask you will see that it means we have a two by two grid in each cell to define if this is a corner, like so, if this is the bottom edge of the tile, if this is the right edge, etc. The rule of thumb for bit masks is you want to paint your bit mask in the area that's similar on the texture or inside the texture, quote unquote. It's a little bit hard to describe, but in my case, this is a dirt tile with a transition to grass. I'm going to paint the bit mask inside the dirt. And with that, Godot will understand that this portion at the bottom where the bit mask is around the top and the top right and top left corner of the tiles, that this is the bottom edge of the auto tile, etc. 
So you can change the subtile size if your tiles in this auto tile are smaller than 128, for example. In which case the bit mask also updates and scales with your auto tiles subgrid. So in my case, it's 128 by 128. So that said, yeah, I'm going to paint the bit mask real quick. Again, roll of thumb in here. I want to paint it on the dirt. And we have the main element from the auto tile. So the base tile that will be painted when we draw on our tile map. It's taking all four squares, that's how you define it. And then if you want to have variations of that tile, you can paint them completely as well and go to the priority tab. When you select a subtile on your auto tile, all the tiles that have the same bit mask will be highlighted. And then you can change the priority at the top of the tile set editor. I can make it so the main tile here has a much higher priority than the others by scrolling up with my mouse wheel. Like for example, 50 out of 53 means that out of 53 cells that I will fill, this tile that's currently selected will appear roughly 50 times and the other three will only appear one time. I can double the priority on this one, for example. So two out of 54 and one, one and 50. You can also select the icon for your auto tile. So you can select the dirt in this case. I will reselect my first existing tile by clicking on it and change its name because it's not really great. So let's call it grass. I'm going to create a new atlas next just to show you. Atlases are just a collection of tiles you may want to select from, but that are kind of the same. For example, I have two variations of grass and flowers, and I have my base grass with no details under it. So I'm going to click and drag over these cells to define a tile atlas. I will call it grass. In the tile map, I will be able to select any of these subtiles here that's defined by the subtile size. So it works a little bit like the auto tile, but it's a little simpler to use. With that, our resource is ready. I'm going to click on the object properties and save just to make sure that my changes are saved. Head back to my tile map by clicking on it. It will close the editor and I'm going to load my outdoor tile set by clicking and dragging it on top of my tile set slot. I'm going to fold the tile set resource as well by clicking on it and set my tile map so it works a little better. So I'll click on the cell category and my tiles are 128 by 128. There you go. And with that, now I'm able to paint my tiles. If I paint the dirt auto tile, you can see that I get the corners, I get variations of the main dirt. I can paint grass next to it. So this one was a single tile, so it will always paint the same grass element. But if I click my grass atlas, a new tab opens and lets me select one tile at a time. So really, Mariano has been working on the tile set editor, right? Not the tile map itself. And the tile map will eventually certainly get improvements. For 3.1, it already got minor improvements and more importantly, fixes like the ability to disable the O2 tile and to select the exact subtile that you want to paint, which I believe is not possible in 3.0 and it's a big, big issue. So that's the new tileset editor for you. I hope you enjoyed this little preview. And that said, be creative, have fun and... See you in the next one. Bye-bye.